Hey there, I am Wes, and we are back for another in the Universal Monster series that I'm doing for Halloween for Gallery 71. And I have on my creepiest Freddy Krueger-esque type uh, painting shirt that I have. Kind of trying to get in the mood. We'll cue the, the spooky music here in a little bit. But as we get started on Dracula, this is what we're doing tonight, I want to talk about the color palette. We've been doing a really stripped down color palette for everything in this series. It's usually a color and black and white. Bride of Frankenstein and Frankenstein's monster, they were in a green themed color scheme. This one, Dracula, we're gonna do it a little different. It's gonna be in a kind of a blue, purple, red sort of color scheme. And I wanna talk about it because all it is, really, when we were talking about the green color scheme, it was literally, because I work in primary colors, it was uh, cyan and yellow to make the green, black and white paint. So this one, we have blue, red, black, and I have titanium white and zinc white. Zinc white for the mixing, titanium white for coverage and highlights. But anyway, just wanted to give you guys a quick rundown of the palette. I may even throw up a couple of images of the palette while I'm talking here. I don't know, I have some of that somewhere, maybe, somewhere. Anyway, I don't wanna to ramble too long. It's, let's, let's, let's cue up the spooky music. Let's get back into the painting. Obviously not this one. This one's still up here, saving that one for later. Just for illustrative purposes, all the paintings are at the gallery and we are just trying to get through the videos. Let's just do that now, shall we? Let's do it now. I thought the piano was pretty good for Dracula. It suits it, right? I mean, he's more of a refined dude. You know, we don't just want slasher music on here. Anyway, so if you saw the last video, we were talking about the foundations uh, and structure of building good painting, working with power tools and big brushes. Uh, it's kind of where we are right now. But we started this talking about the stripped down color palette uh you know i started this kind of technique uh just in my practice so what i did is i downloaded a bunch of really cool images uh of the photography of george harrell who used to be a hollywood photographer and i thought they were awesome just the the mood the feel the lighting but they were all in black and white because they were done in the 30s and 40s so i wanted to add color and you know, I didn't want to try and fake color, but I, so what I tried to do is like what we used to call in the printing was a duotone, or actually this is a tritone, because there's blue, red, and black. Uh, you know, it's just a fun way to kind of do a little more adding cool tones, warm tones, playing them against each other to try and make them uh, help you build that uh, depth and dimension. So, you know, this is, ha you know, these are going by really fast. I'm just trying to give you guys a, a bunch of quick insight. We're decorating the house. Again, see the video. There'll be a link at the end. And now there's a beer. We're celebrating. We're done. So uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram at Wes Flannery. Man, these happen fast. <laughs> 